Happy New Year. I'm so stoked to be back with you again. It's 2022. Can you believe it? I feel like this year is going to be a good one. I am just continuing on this sketch that I started last week. So uh, if you haven't seen part one, you might want to stop this video and watch that video first and then come back and continue on with this video. But if not, you can always just start from here and continue watching. Yeah, in my last video, I think I mentioned that I don't really have any plants this year, which is both terrifying and <laughs> incredibly exciting because it is kind of like an open space waiting to be filled. And I just feel like growth happens when you face and embrace uncertainty. This is my second veiled portrait. My first one didn't work out very well, so I've started again and I think it's going pretty well. Um, my whole idea behind the veiled portraits is pretty multi-layered and I think the next collection has been within me for a long time and I've just been kind of thinking about it and figuring out how I was going to go about it. More than anything, it's about that desire to hide. It's really just a visual representation of the person that I present to people versus the person that I am internally. And the veil represents a facade that we all put up in order to keep face when this barrier just keeps us from creating genuine connections. This time of my life is so unknown and so hard. When I think of this veiled figure, I relate to the sense of not seeing too far in front. It reminds me of that quote, life is lived forwards, but only understood backwards. You really can only stumble forward in the darkness. And this tension between the desire to hide and the desire to share is expressed through this collection of veiled portraits. I decided to paint my table black because the charcoal was just getting absorbed into the wood and it was just getting everywhere. So I think this will work best and I've also decided to spray paint the legs because the yellow is just too much colour for me <laughs> and it's really just drawing my eye. So I'm going to paint those and uh, redo the studio a little bit. So.
check in with the progress on this one and it's going pretty well. Um, I think I'm like maybe a day off finishing and I'm figuring out how to do a like uh, gradient background because I'm trying to step away from the stark white, even though I still, I still love it, but I'm trying to expand. Mm -hmm. 